What's up everybody, I'm Six Star Driver here, back with another CDL practice questions and answers. This is the air brake portion of the exam. I have the general knowledge and the combination vehicle portion uploaded on my last two videos. I suggest you check them out because this is a follow up of those videos. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button for me and check out some of my other contents while you're here. Remember, don't forget to get your commercial learners permit before February of 2022, before all the DOT rules change occur, making it even more complicated to get. All right, good luck everybody. Let's get to it. Air brake tests. Number one, during normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by B, air pressure. Number two, the brake pedal in the air brake system B controls the air pressure applied to put brake put on the brakes. Number three, the brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is what system? B, service system. Number four, all air brake equipment vehicles must have what? A, a supply pressure gauge. Number five, if your truck or bus as a dual parking control valve, you can use pressure from another tank to A. Release the spring brakes to move the vehicle in an emergency. Number six, the most common type of foundation brake found on heavy vehicles is B. S cam drum brake. Number seven, parking or emergency brakes of trucks and buses can be legally held on by what? A. Spring pressure. Number eight. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, it is there to C. Reduce the risk of ice in valves and other parts in cold weather. Number nine. Some air brake system have an alcohol evaporator. What might happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? B. Ice may form in the tank and cause the brakes to fail. Number 10, the most important thing to do when the low air pressure warning comes on is C, stop and park safely as soon as possible. Number 11, the driver must be able to see a low air pressure warning that must come on before pressure in the tank falls below what? B, 60 PSI. Number 12, under normal conditions, in order to engage the parking brake, the driver must first B, let the air out of the system. Number 13, to check the free play of manual slack adjusters on s cam brakes, you should park on a level ground, choke the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Number 14, if your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator every day, during cold weather, you should A, check and fill the alcohol level. Number 15, for air brake system in good condition, the air compressor should start pumping at what PSI? It's A, 100. Number 16, a straight truck or bus system should not leak at a rate of more than two PSI per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. Number 17, a slack adjuster probably needs adjustment if it moves more than one inch when you pull on it. Number 18. If you're driving down a steep downgrade and you have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour, you should apply the service brakes until your speed reaches what? 35 miles per hour. Number 19. The use of brakes on a long and or steep downgrade is only a supplement to C, the braking effects of the engine. Number 20, under ideal conditions, a truck with air brakes going 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of what? C, more than 300 feet. Number 21, emergency stab braking is when you see brake as hard as you can release the brakes when the wheels lock and apply the brakes again when the wheels roll number 22 the braking power of the spring brakes 
B depends on the brakes being an adjustment. Number 23. If you must make an emergency stop, you should brake so B you can keep your vehicle in a straight line and turn if it becomes necessary. Number 24. The proper method of braking when going downhill is to reduce the speed by 5 miles per hour below your safe speed before releasing the brakes. Number 25. Which of the following about ABS is true? A. ABS changes the way you brake in an emergency. Number 26. If your ABS is not working, you should B. Drive normally but get the system serviced soon. Number 27. The stoplight switch. A. Turns on the brake lights to warn others behind you. Number 28. If air pressure does not build up to normal within the current amount of time, C. Your air pressure may drop to low while driving, requiring, requiring an emergency stop. Number 29. If the spring brakes are on, when should you push the brake pedal? C. Never. 30. If your truck's compressor has its own oil supply, when should you first check the oil level? A. Before driving. That's pre-trip. Number 31. The safety valve is set automatically to reduce pressure in the tanks at what PSI? C. 150. 32. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than what? C. 3 PSI in a minute. Number 33. Air brakes take more time to stop than hydraulic brakes because B. Air takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluids. Number 34. In air brake vehicles, the parking brake should be used B anytime the vehicle is parked. Number 35. Which of these is not the proper time to apply the parking brakes? A. If the brakes are very hot. Number 36. Emergency control braking is when you A. Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Number 37. The application pressure gauge shows you how much pressure B you are applying to the brakes. Number 38. The supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure A is in the air tanks. Number 39. How often should you drain the water and oil from your air tanks? B. At the end of each day of driving. Number 40. The spring brakes on trucks will bring it to a stop automatically when air pressure falls to what range? 20 to 40 PSI, option A. Number 41, the air compressor should stop pumping at what PSI? 125 PSI, option B. Number 42, modern air brakes combine three different systems, the service, parking, and emergency brakes, option A. Number 43, the S cam C forces the brake shoes to the drums. Number 44. If your truck has a dual hair system, one system is low on air pressure. B. Either the front or rear brakes will not be operating fully. Number 45. Excessive use of the service brakes results in overheating, which can lead to C. Expansion of the brake drum. Number 46. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air system, the pressure should build from 85 PSI to 100 PSI in how long? It's B, 45 seconds. Number 47. You should know what your brakes of you should know that your brakes are fading when A, you have to push harder and harder on the brake, brake pedal to control your speed. Number 48. How should you check that your service brakes are working properly? C. Park on a level ground, release the parking brakes, roll forward slowly, and apply the brakes using the pedal. Number 49. 
Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than hydraulics because of what? A. Brake lag. Number 50. Excessive heat caused by using your brakes too often can cause the C. Brakes to fade or fail. Number 51. If a truck or bus has ABS, it would have a yellow malfunction lamp on the instrument panel. Option B. Number 52, the modulation control valve allows you to operate the A spring brakes. Number 53, cracks in a drum cannot be longer than half the width of the friction area. Number 54, the air brake lag at 55 miles per hour adds how many feet of stopping distance? It's B, 32 feet. And that is it. You have completed the air brake portion of the test. Make sure you check out the general knowledge and the combination vehicle test uploaded on my two previous videos. Good luck with your test, guys. Peace.